Thank you for flying Model Vision 12, your pilot of the virtual skies. Today we have another unboxing video for you. I bought this in a three a set of three. So there'll be three aircraft that should be unboxing out of here. Uh, all three shipped together, so let's go and get started on this unboxing. Um, you'll see uh, this package actually came pretty good. A lot of packing peanuts, so let's go ahead and get those out of here. Uh, again, first time unboxing of this, uh, usually say aircraft set. Um, get those out of the way. Um, all I did was just cut the seal, took the labels off so no names or address or anything be shown. And uh, my first time seeing it is you guys seeing it, so let's check these out together. Uh, first aircraft, uh, and there will be a rare aircraft being unboxed here. And I don't use the term rare lightly. So uh, first aircraft is going to be FedEx. 757-200. Oh, do you have an NG models? There we go. 757. So this will go great in my collection with that. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. Looking at it in the case, it's already looking good. The plastic, no cracks or anything, so. I've always wondered what the 757 for FedEx looked like for FedEx, or for, FedEx for Gemini. Um, rolling wheels, uh, I've been Googling it since I bought it. It looked like they had some cockpit issues, but I must have been looking up maybe some older models, but I don't really see any cockpit issues, uh, but it, it looks actually pretty good. So win for Gemini Jets on this one. Do see a little bit of uh Maybe paint bubbling from the factory around the engine intake. But uh, other than that, model's in great shape. I don't know what that is right there. but it's a perfectly round hole. Give y'all a better look here. Perfectly round, so it's intentional. All the rest of the paint is good. The gear's intact, wings are intact. Engines are on there. I might do a video comparing it to uh, the NG models. So that one turned out well. So let's go ahead and get it back in its box here. Now the next one, I did say wrap these up together. So we'll get that box out of the way. Um, the next two are smaller aircraft, but I do need more regional. Um, I'm going to save the rare one for last. Hope I went in that shot. Um, this next one I was excited about. I'm already opening it up. Uh, you can see I was excited about it. I have a Delta one, but it's a Herpa ERJ-170. I have a Delta Herpa ERJ-170. 646 Romeo Whiskey. This is operated by Republic, and I fuel Republic. 
So this was a must have for me. When I saw this come up, I knew it was going to be a Republic aircraft, so. And being in Indianapolis, Republic's headquarters, having a Republic tail number is a big deal. Let's go ahead and get this baby out. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Now, Herpa doesn't do stand holes. Theirs are meant to be displayed sitting down at a gate, which is what I intend to use it for at a gate. But their landing gear, especially their nose gear, are not very detailed. Their winglets are not exactly detailed. Uh, their paint is not the best, but it gets the job done. They are, you know, older. I guess it does have a stand hole. My Delta one doesn't even have that. So I'll have to find a, uh, a Herpa stand for that. But no big deal. Or I can make one. Got a little bit of a smudge right there, or it might be dirt. I'll have to take a look, closer look at that. Overall, this thing looks brand new. No blemishes, no scratches, everything is intact. Does not have rolling wheels, uh, everything is plastic, uh, minus the fuselage wings. But uh, you can see the APU. Beacon light on top, uh, no beacon light on bottom. But it does have a few small details. It's got the Star Alliance logo. It's got the, uh, can't tell if those are pedo tubes up there. It's got the windshield wipers up there. But yeah, and then uh, put that on its box. And then the rare one, the box is not in the best condition but this aircraft has not been available for a long time, so I had to jump on it. We have Continental Dash 8 Q400. There's the specs inside the box. We'll bring the box back down, so if you want to pause and read. So do a look around the box real quick, because I still need to look over the box. That, not good. That's all tucked up in there. That's all torn. There's the back of it. I'll pause that too for you. I'll stop that too if you want to pause that. So 2008 series. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Get the aircraft pulled out. Make sure I don't tear anything. So, forgot to look at this. This is in, uh, this is actually in good condition. A little bit of yellowing, but I think that's just the years manufactured. Because so I've gotten others from this year, and they're also like a yellowish color. They're not clear. So if I ever do decide to sell this, that box needs cleaned a little bit. But, I've got plans for this guy anyways. He is staying how he is though, because the rarity of this aircraft, you do not want to re library this thing. You got a beacon light, strobe light. Oh man, I can't even believe I'm actually touching this thing. Rolling wheels.
tail number is 188. I think it's Whiskey Delta. Let's take a look here. Whiskey Quebec. Cube's a little misshapen. Sorry if I'm not doing very good camera movement. Get the props going there. Don't want to touch them too much. See the landing lights. In the camera, the horizontal stabilizers look a little slanted. I don't know why. They look straight to me. There's the APU, got the rear door, forward right door, got the nose locker, got the boarding door, there's the cargo door right there, got the aft fins, see somebody has tried to put on a stand, I thought that was a smudge, it was just a bit of a fuzz, luckily. Great looking airplane. I need to get this back to its box. So we'll go ahead and get these lined up for you. Get this out of the way. Properly close this box. I don't know how they expect you to they got these flaps right there. I don't know how they expect you to close it with those flaps right there. That's why that was like that. I'm about to figure that one out. Okay. So here are the three aircraft again. In their boxes. Oh, come on. Turbo boxes are never good. There we go. Perfect. There you have it. My three unboxing for today. And I should have more coming up really soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, especially with the, uh, the rare aircraft that I had just gotten. I've actually been trying to look for this one for a while. Not available anywhere, obviously. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys next time. Hopefully an airport update comes up soon. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and remember, as always, geek out, aviators. Bye-bye.